Here we are. I forget where we are. I believe this is the Grove Hill uh, Cemetery or, or somewhere close to there. This is going to be the resting spot of, of uh, the Von Erichs. Um, this is the, the, the funeral place they used. We got a really nice bridge that we cross and uh, then we'll actually get into the, uh, the funeral part. Um, I think we're actually going to be using uh, somebody else's video to find how to find uh, the grave uh, that we're looking for. Of course here is uh, the grave site of uh, Kerry Von Eric, one of my favorite wrestlers as a kid. Um, he wasn't in WWF for honestly that long. Um, he only had a short little run. He beat Mr. Perfect for the Intercontinental Championship and of course he dropped it back. I, I don't even know. In my head he probably had it for a month or two. It might even have been shorter than that. But uh, he was always flashy and, and fun to watch and um, that's why that's why we're here today. Um, there's, a, there's a lot more graves here so we don't want to be disrespectful um, to those. But uh, we're here just to pay our respects to the uh, Von Erichs and um, you know, add, add to the, the trip because I mean like when are we ever coming to Dallas again? This is Jem and Miguel. We'll be uh, we'll be finding what we're uh, looking for, and we'll we'll be there in a minute, and you guys will be there with us. That's that's pretty good. What are you thinking about, Jim? Thinking about this is really sad. What happened to these guys, man? <laughs> out of out of the Von Eric saying, who was your favorite? What, what was the one that put you, put them over the top? Well, probably Kerry, because Kerry had the mainstream feel in the WWF, and he's the one I watched the most. That, I mean, when I was a kid, that was the guy who grabbed my attention. I mean, Kerry was mm -hmm. WWF. I, I didn't know nothing about World Class Championship Wrestling. They didn't say where he came from. They didn't even say his name was Von Erich. Texas Tornado. Yeah, I mean, I knew it. How long did he have the Intercontinental title? Because in my mind, it was just like, it was like nothing. He won it in August of 90, and he lost it in, uh, what, November? Oh, man. Of 90. I think he lost it back to Mr. Perfect. His, yeah, his. He, it's one of my favorite covers of the WWF magazine is him holding the well, title. See, I knew Carrie through wrestling magazines. Uh huh. That's how I knew Carrie, and that's how I knew the guys from WCCW. You know, from uh, he, they WCCW wasn't on TV, so you had you had to read about it through the magazines. <laughs> Miguel's research. It's a big hill. It's a big hill what that is, we just walked up right here. Should have. Didn't even really realize how we were going up the hill like that, but... <laughs> Big hill. Miguel, is he going up the hill in the video? <laughs> it's a little bit harder than we thought, even with the video. I'm sure, if we look around long enough, we'll find it. Here they are, right through here. They're all right here. You got Mike Von Erich. You got Chris Von Erich. I don't know who the leeches are, but they're all sort of right through here. There's an empty spot right there that people say this is this is where Kevin is supposed to be. I don't know if they'll still go along with that with his family. They all live in, in Hawaii, but there's David Von Erich. Elliot, they're all supposed to be five of them really close together. I don't see carries. I know his is sort of split. It says both names on it like those other ones. But here's Cookston, Newton, Leach, Leach, Leach. I got Chris. I got Mike. And there's David. Conversion. There's the Kleins, the Lawsons. Klein. They're all really close together. I don't see Carrie though. You go too far over here. Oh. It's really going to be right here. See? There's there's Mike. Oh man. Here's Chris. There's, there's, I think there's five of them, and they're all relatively really close together. I'll look for a minute, and I'll find Carrie. I'll get back to you. 
I guess they're, they're buried in the same plot together. Atkinson, on one side it says uh, Kerry Von Erich, the other side it's uh, Fritz Von Erich. 1993 to 1997. Man. Walking with my brothers, beloved father. Wow. And this must be the mom here? Doris? Doris Atkinson? That's the mom. Her children Doris rise up and call her blessed. Wow. I wonder why Carrie and Fritz are buried in the same plot together. Because that was Fritz's favorite of the sons. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, you're right. That's true. Yeah, he was the favorite of the sons, so they wanted to be buried together. Walking with my brothers. It's crazy, huh, Jim? Unbelievable. I kind of... I don't know, dude. It's just nuts. Something you might not ever see again. And then the video that I was watching to help me find it, they say that this is Carrie's. Not Carrie, I apologize. Kevin's plot right here. That's why there's nothing right here. Kevin's plot's right here? Yeah, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Now knowing that he lives in Hawaii with his family, I would wonder if he'd want to be yeah. buried here. So I wonder. I have no idea. Hmm. But yeah, this is, so we went to Japan. Hold on, I want to get you explaining that, Jim. Hmm. You on, we on? Yeah. All right, so, okay, this is the, the Yellow Rose of Texas. This is David Von Erich. This is the one that would have been the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. This was the one that was on his way to prominence in the National Wrestling Alliance. So, right around this time, in early February, 84, he started feeling his stomach pain. So he goes over to J Japan on a wrestling tour and he um, hasn't his stomach already already started leaking at this point because he just because I remember they tell the story about him just eating and eating and eating when he, he got over there. To Japan, he had a big dinner. He had a lot of alcohol. He was on some pain medication, but pain medications wasn't what caused this. Um, his stomach exploded. He ate too much and he drank too much. He had an accident, and then Wild Bill Irwin, the goon in the WWF, found him in his hotel room dead the next day. And uh, this. This right here was kind of what sent WCCW down because when he died, it was a big deal. And then they did a tournament, the Yellow Rose Tournament, at Cowboy Stadium when Kerry Von Erich beat uh, Ric Flair for the NWA World Title. Mm -hmm. Now that show was supposed to be David Von Erich winning the World Title. It was 10 days. Oh, that was the uh, quote unquote. And then, and then right? they, they, they switched title in Japan, didn't they? Yeah, it didn't even last that long. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the 17 days. Yeah. And then, so Flair won it back. And then Kerry, so Kerry was given the title, unfortunately, because, you know, I think David died. It's a lot like Rey Mysterio in the WWF when mm -hmm. Eddie Guerrero died. You know, but yeah, David was the, he was the one that, he was the one that was supposed to be the, the next breakout star in wrestling. Mm -hmm. Just so, many. so it was David in 84, and then it took a, yeah. here at 87 is Mike. Okay, Mike, Mike was the one, Mike got sick, uh -huh. Mike got the toxic shock syndrome, yeah. he, he got really sick, he actually had a 108 degree fever, mm -hmm. so yeah, he got super sick, once he had the fever, he never came back from it, and mm -hmm. uh, Mike, you know, wound up killing himself over it. Chris, Chris was the smaller one, right? Chris killed himself. Because he wasn't, because because he wasn't as big as the other ones, right? Um, he was like, sort of like the runt of the litter? Chris was interesting because he, he he got injured in the ring. You know, he wanted to wrestle so bad like his brothers, uh -huh. but he never had the size. Yeah. So he wound up getting depressed. Mm -hmm. And uh, his birthday was three days before mine. I, I gotta tell you a theory mm -hmm. I have on Chris Von Eric when we're off camera. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, I do have a theory of some stuff that happened with him. Tonight. Well, I mean, like uh, he died in 90, 91. I think Carrie's 90. 93. Yeah, I was just saying 93, 94, somewhere in there. 